Today I'm gonna show you the supreme fried rice. This is the best fried rice that I think of and you can make that at home. I'd like to make the dishes that can be easily recreated at home. I'm gonna introduce the ingredients. We are gonna use Sato's rice, the instant rice. Although some recipes say you should cook rice for fried rice at first, my fried rice can be crazy good even if I use Sato's rice. This time I'm not gonna stick to the rice for itself. It's okay to use the normal hard rice as well. Okay, now let's use the microwave to warm up Sato's rice. Also, two eggs. I know it's pretty rare for someone to use two eggs. This will be the golden fried rice that I make with this. It's a very yellow fried rice with a high ratio of yolk. The ingredients are pretty simple. You can use any kind of pork. The ground pork is good as well. But if it's a fatty part, the rice absorbs the lard and it will be delicious. I'm gonna use pork belly this time, but you can use leftover meat, whether it's pork belly or pork loin. Then there is the leek. We don't use these many leeks. We are gonna use these scraps. We'll use about 5 cm of them, chopped up into chunks. Ginger is optional, but I think it's better to add it. The aroma of ginger will make the fried rice higher in rank, considerably. The ginger is thinner than a serving, about 3 grams. It's about the first joint of your index finger. This bit of ginger makes a high quality fried rice. This video shows how to make the best fried rice with just a little bit of effort. Now we are gonna make the best fried rice ever. First of all, we are gonna cut the ginger into strips. Cut it from the side and chop it up really fine. This will give your fried rice a boost of power. Cut the leeks like this. It should be about 5 cm long and you will be fine. Chop up the slightly larger parts. Sprinkle the pork with a light dusting of salt. Cut the pork, cut it into smaller pieces if possible. It tastes better when it is evenly distributed with the rice. Cut it into fine dice-like pieces. If you cut it to this shape, it will blend well with the rice. Next is the eggs. Crack the eggs in advance. When you beat the eggs, they don't have to be completely yellow. It's okay if you can see a little bit of white. Then we'll do it. Keep all the ingredients you just use on hand. Make sure the Sato's rice is very hot. It should be just warmed up. Keep the seasoning on hand as well. First, half a teaspoon of salt and 8 shakes of seasoning powder we call Ajinomoto. My fried rice uses cooking sake, so be prepared. Make sure you'll make the best fried rice ever. We'll start with the oil. It's one and a half tablespoons. We are using pork belly today, so taking into account lard, which comes from that, we should use like that amount of the oil. If you don't use oil much, you won't get fried rice like in a restaurant. The restaurant uses a crazy amount of oil. Now we are gonna put the pan on the heat. You can use high heat. We also need some black pepper. Keep it on hand. First we are gonna add the pork. I'm using raw meat this time, not char siu. So I am adding the frying process. The frying process gets the fine lard into the oil that will be absorbed into the fried rice. Fry until the meat is slightly browned. After this level of frying, you are good to go. Then pull the meat to the edge. Then you will have a pool of oil. This is the time the game begins. Add the ginger. These will give it a slight aroma. Then put the eggs. And at the same time put rice in this part. This is where the rice is gonna be broken down. Use the sides of the ladle to break up the rice well. For Sato's rice, the rice is hard, so break it up well. The rice has come unraveled. This is the time you add the seasonings. Half a teaspoon of salt, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 shakes of Ajimoto. Then fry them together, mix well. If the seasonings are solidified, it won't taste good. I toss the pan in habit, but it's okay if you don't. Then add the leeks. 
You don't need to cook the leeks that much. They will be sweetened if you slightly cook them. So put them here. Add 3 times the amount of black pepper you think you are gonna add here. If you add quite a bit of black pepper, the aroma will be really good. What do you guys think? Can you see how it's getting flaky? We are gonna add a tablespoon of cooking sake here. The sake will make it somewhere between flaky and moist. I do this because I believe that fried rice is better when it feels moist than just flaky. The other thing the sake brings is flavor. The other point is that the moisture in it reduces the greasiness of the fried rice. When the oil and the water combine, it becomes a dressing-like substance. Then it's already done. Now that it's done, we'll serve this up. In a Chinese restaurant, you can serve it as a ladle, but we don't have that at home, so I serve it in a bowl. When you serve it like this, press it down a little bit. Put the plate on top and turn it upside down. This is what it looks like. It has turned into Chinese restaurant fried rice. The most important thing is the red ginger. Garnish with this. This makes a big difference. It looks cute. This is the supreme golden fried rice that the cooking expert really makes. I'd like to try it right away. This fried rice smells so good already. Let's try it. Let's have it. Can I tell you? I've never had this delicious fried rice before. It's too perfect. I really like my fried rice. I used to be a big fan of fried rice. It was quite a trial and error process and I was making only fried rice. I'm still settling on this for simple fried rice. It's delicious. Really good. As a point of reference, I like the aroma. The smell of ginger really brings out the goodness of the fried rice. And the meat, it's cut into small pieces and brought to your mouth with the rice grains of the fried rice. So when you bite into it, the juiciness of the meat will spread into your mouth. This very very much gives the fried rice a premium feeling. This turned out to be a very tasty fried rice that I'm sorry I can't give you how it tastes through the video. No doubtful taste. I know I'm being cheeky, but it's insanely delicious. I would like to eat the red ginger with it. It's important to eat it all the way through in a delicious way. Hell no, it's great. Fried rice and a highball. I think this is gonna catch on. Cha he, cha han and a highball. He cha is better to say. Really good. It uses a lot of oil, but it's not greasy. The sake at the end is very effective, and each grain of rice is really standing up. But it's little moisturized, and the whole thing is very cohesive. It's insanely delicious. This is complete. If you like it, please give this video a high rating and subscribe to the channel.